to the principal amount of a loan or deposit. In other words, interest on interest. And when it comes to compound interest, let's go back with 100 and 150 and so to 50. And in that particular sense, compound interest rapidly increase. So in January, let's just say, for, this is just an example. So in January, you're going to pay 250 and in February, you're going to pay 260 and so forth and so on. It depends on the policy, the commitment, the interest rate, and all the agreement. But just take note that compound interest is interest on interest. For that, very good, group five. Let's give a round of applause to each and every one of you since you've got all the correct answers. Now, how do you find activity? Yes, Jana? Good. And are there familiar terms before knowing their definitions? Yes, Axel. Good. And do we encounter these words in our everyday lives? Yes, Jane? That's right. From whom do we usually hear these words? Yes, John? Good. And at home, who usually talk about financial matters? Okay, you're answering cars. Yes, it, uh, it could be both parents. All right. In investing, borrowing, or spending money, we should always be reminded to be critical with our decisions. So, if you are to invest your hard-earned money in a business, what are the things that you should do to avoid scams? Anyone? Yes, Carlo. You're raising hand. Very good. That is a great answer and a great idea. It is really relevant when it comes to dealing with scams, especially nowadays. If you are to borrow money or make loans, what are the things you need to remember so that you will avoid inability to pay on due time? That's right. And personally, you should always do that. This time, we're going to watch a video to know more about simple and compound interest. A few moments later. After watching the video, what's the difference between simple and compound interest aside from what we defined a while ago? Yes, Cedric, you're raising your hand. Very good. That is correct. You are to invest, which would offer you a better return on investment. A bank that offers simple interest or a bank that offers compound interest. Yes, Danica, you're raising your hand. Definitely. Personally, I would choose uh, compound interest because as I've said a while ago, there is a rapid increase when it comes to the investment that you can get. For an application, we'll have an activity. Same group, groups 1 to 5. And you're, what you're going to do is to create a performance that signifies or shows the difference between simple and compound interest. And also, for your performance to be to have a good content, also apply the other preliminary terms that are related to it. Okay, but, and you're only given five minutes to do so for the preparation, and then you're going to present. But before you start, let me read first the criteria for judging. Okay, for content, 15 points. For cooperation, 10 points. And for the presentation as a whole, 15 points. A total of 35 points. Okay? So, timer starts now. A few moments later. Very good. Groups 1 to 5. 
you showed great excellence and talent in your performance. And here's the matter of truth. The result of your hard work. Okay, for group one, 30 points. Group two, 25. Group three, 30. Group four, 30 as well. And the last but not the least, group five, got 35, got the perfect score. So give a round of applause for group five. Very good. And now, how do you find the activity? How did you come up with those performances and answers? Yes, Brando? Very good. This time, since we're done with discussing all the things you need to know about interest and the preliminary related terms to it, let's test your knowledge. I know that you get everything that we discussed. So prepare one for sheet of paper and get ready. Yes, Marco. One for sheet of paper. Okay. Number one. It is the original amount of money. The amount before any interest is applied. Number two. It is the percentage of principal charged by the lender for the use of its money. Number three, it is the cost of using somebody else's money. It is additional money that must be repaid in addition to the original loan balance or deposit. Number four, it is a way of calculating the amount of interest that is to be paid on the principal. Number five, the amount of all the interest earned over a period of time. Lastly, it is the addition of interest to the principal amount of a loan or deposit, or in other words, interest or interest. Okay, in five, four, three, two, one, pass your papers in front and I'll return those papers, checked papers, tomorrow. I just put it there. For your assignment, a sheet of paper, write a letter of advice, address the people who are facing difficulties in handling their financial matters. Any sheet of paper will do. To recapitulate, what are the five basic concepts of interest? You can answer your cards. Okay, first, principal amount. Second, interest rate. Third, accumulated interest. Fourth, simple interest. And lastly, compound interest. Very good. I hope that you gained a lot in this lesson for today. This time, you now stand up for the prayer. In Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, class, dismissed, and see you next meeting.